That's always it's a rule of thumb. It's something you guys learn in you guys learn in college and come to be a teacher. All right. So two comma pi. Can we graph that to maybe just like get an understanding of where this is? Yes, can we graph this? We have r and theta. One, ra one radius, two radius, so it's round two. We could say pi is right here. That looks pretty good, right? Yes? Is there another way we could represent, um, is there another way we could represent that angle? Like what is another, an is there another angle we could represent pi with? Yeah, we could use 180, let's just stick with the radians for right now. What's another way you could represent 180, though? Pi. How could we get to the same exact point? Two negative. Negative pi. Negative yeah. Pi. Well, guys. Wait, I was right. Yeah. Guys, from here to here is pi. From here to here is negative pi. Do those two angles have the same initial and terminal point or side? Yes. When we, what type of angles have the same initial and terminal side? Coterminal. How do we convert between coterminal angles? What do we simply do? Add or subtract pi. Add or subtract 2 pi, right? So I'm basically just saying add and subtract 2 pi. So what's 2 pi plus pi? 3 pi. Or we could say 2 comma subtract 2 pi is negative pi. Right? Huh? Well, because if you if here's here's pi, if you add two pi, you go back around, you're still there, you're still at the same point. So it works, and you could just continue doing this. I mean, we could just keep on going around here as much as we want. So, Gunnar, this is not be a time for you to talk. Um, so we can just keep on adding and subtracting two pi every time we want. All right. Now the next thing is. Let's think about maybe a negative or a reflection of this. So remember thinking about like the reflections, guys, and what we did in that last problem. If I wanted to like reflect this, right, what would be an angle that would be a with a negative radius, which would be a reflection? What do you mean? Well, let's write this, let's write this in um, what? Hold on a second. Let's write this in rectangular form. Well, negative pi we already have. Let's write this in rectangular form. So this is 2 cosine of pi, comma, 2 sine of pi. Cosine of pi is negative 1, so that's negative 2. And this one is sine of pi is 0, so that's 0. Right? So that's the rectangular format, which is, you guys can see, it's pretty obvious, the same point, right? OK. Now, let's, um, what if I had a negative 2? Negative 2 times cosine of what angle would give me the same result? So, and then two, negative 2 times sine of what angle would give me the same result? So think about the angles on the unit circle. What angle should I use for that that's going to give me negative 2 over 0? When I'm, so I'm already multiplied by negative 2. That means the cosine of theta needs to be positive 1. What angle gives me cosine is equal to 1? What angle is when cosine is equal to 1? Cosine is the x-coordinate, and y is 0. 2 pi or 0. So you could do negative 2, 0, or you could do negative 2, 2 pi. Or you could do 4 pi, 6 pi, 8 pi, you know, negative 2 pi, negative 4 pi. But what that means is, again, what we're talking about this, guys, that negative point is this point, but it's a reflection, so it's giving you that one. So what I'm saying is your multiple choice answer like your questions on your multiple choice would be like all of these, and then there'd be like, you know, one, three, and say, which one is that? You know, which one's, oh, actually, it wouldn't be that easy, but, you know, maybe like negative two pi or something. And you'd have to determine which one is not a coterminal angle, right? So therefore, you'd have to understand which one's these, and you'd say, oh, yeah, answer C. That one is not the same as all those, OK? So that's one way that you'd be asked um, that type of questions from there. The problem is there's infinite many, so it's kind of hard to ask that question. 